Get ready. Ever wondered who's the fastest in space? This is the Cosmic Speed Race. All right, everyone. Time for the annual Cosmic Lap Race. On the count of three. Whew. This wide track is tough on a big guy. This is ridiculous. I'm still on my first mile. This is gonna take me 165 Earth years to finish. Ha! I told ya! Fastest orbit in the whole system! That's what you get for being so close to the sun! It's all about gravity. The closer you are to the sun, the stronger its pull, and the faster you have to move to keep from crashing into it. And the farther away you are, the longer your track is. I have to travel over 4 billion kilometers just to finish one lap. Give it up for our speed demon, Mercury. Fastest orbit goes to the closest planet. You know, I'm glad I'm not the fastest. Moving this fast and being this close to the sum sounds exhausting. You worry about your future? You should worry about mine. Let's talk about the life cycle of a star. Jupiter? Is the sun supposed to be pulsing like that? I think he's running on fumes. That's the sound of a midlife crisis, Earth. He's running out of hydrogen fuel in his core. <sighs> I am not running out of fuel. I'm fusing hydrogen into helium. I am a yellow dwarf star, and I'm fine. Problem is, when he uses up the hydrogen in his core, the helium starts to pile up like ash. The core shrinks, but the outside of the sun gets super hot. And when that happens, I don't shrink. I expand. I will become a red giant. It's happening. We're being swallowed. Help! Ah! I'm melting. I'm melting. <sighs> Won't reach Earth's orbit, but the heat will be intense. You'll be scorched, Earth. I'm being scorched. I'm being scorched, and all my beautiful water is boiling away. After the red giant phase, the sun will shed its outer layers and collapse into a tiny, cool, white dwarf. It will be about the size of Earth. <sighs> wow. So, we'll survive the heat, but the light will fade. That's the end of the show for our star. I'm still good for another five billion years, guys. Now let's enjoy the show. <sighs> Woohoo! What if Earth was flat? A cosmic whisper started spreading. A rumor about Earth. Oh no. I feel so flat out insecure right now. Flat? <laughs> but how would that even work? <clears throat> Poor Earth tried to hide its curves, but the other planets were relentless. Darling, one cannot simply be flat. It's against cosmic etiquette. So, what if Earth suddenly became as flat as a cosmic pancake? Look, if you were flat, all your water would rush to the middle. Everything else would just slide right off the sides. You see, Earth, Gravity always pulls towards the center of a mass. And what about the moon? Its orbit would be all wobbly. Spinning flat is hard work. Earth would wobble like a wonky frisbee. All right, everyone. Time to round things out. Check it out. The sun's energy is making you puff back up. It's working! Huh? Uh, much better. Round is definitely my best shape. See? That's why being a round, beautiful sphere is the best way to be. Yeah, right. Uh, you're rusty. What if Earth suddenly turned red? Oh, no. I'm red! I'm red! I'm losing all my beautiful blue and green! Oh no! Mars! Did you cover me in red dust? You're jealous of my oceans! <laughs> I wish! No, you just look tough and rugged like me now! 
Welcome to the red side. For that much rust to happen, I would have had to lose all my beautiful liquid water and all my oxygen. The water is disappearing. I can feel it. It's evaporating right off my surface. What is happening to me? Oh, the tragedy. No blue, no water. You're officially a dry, dusty failure, darling. Look, it's not so bad. I've been a dry rust bucket for billions of years. We're color twins. Now you just need to grow my giant mountain, Olympus Mons. You'll love the quiet. Oh, I don't want to be a dry, dead desert planet. I like being the blue one with life and plants. I want my water back. All right, fun's over. Time to switch the colors back. Okay, crisis averted. I am never complaining about my oceans again. Blue is definitely my color. So as a summary, Earth turning red means a full chemical disaster. You'd lose all your liquid water and oxygen to form iron rust. Yeah, I'll stick to the original colors because blue and green means life. Think you can jump high, Earth? Try the gravity jump challenge. Please, I'm strong. I accept your little challenge, Mars. Rule one, my planet's gravity is only 38% of yours. You'll weigh less, but I have a massive advantage. Ugh. Must jump higher. Why is this so hard? That's how it's done. Your weight is lighter here, so you can jump three times higher. The drama. When your surface is only one third as heavy as Earth's, darling, everyone looks like a champion. It's simply physics, not talent. Okay, fine, but try doing any actual work. I can't even push this cart without my tires spinning out. <sighs> so high jumps are easy, but heavy lifting is impossible. You need my stronger gravity to get grip and do any real work. Mars wins the high jump competition, but Earth wins the ability to move things contest. Gravity isn't just a force to hold you down, it's what gives you grip. Final answer is, you can jump super high on Mars because of the low gravity, but you need more weight to actually push things. Fun science. All right, Saturn, it's time to settle this. Who is the true biggest, baddest planet in the solar system? I'm the biggest, Saturn. Everyone knows that. Nonsense, Jupiter. My rings make me look enormous. I'm clearly the most impressive. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. How about a friendly competition instead? <laughs> I'm too tiny for this. Can't we just measure your height? According to volume, Jupiter, you can fit over 1,300 of me inside. Saturn, you only fit 764. Jupiter wins the volume round. Hold on, brood. Being biggest doesn't mean being best. I challenge you to the density test. A water test? Both of you are giant blobs of gas. This is going to be a messy disaster, darling. Density means how much stuff is packed inside the planet. I may be big, but I'm mostly light hydrogen gas. My average density is less than water. So I float. <sighs> ah, here I go. <sighs> Tell everyone I died trying to prove I was the densest. <sighs> and that's how we solve the great cosmic soak. And there you have it. Jupiter is the biggest by volume, but Saturn is the lightest by density. We have two different winners. Fine, but I challenge you to a magnetic field strength contest next week. <laughs> Woohoo! Hit that like button, subscribe for Cosmic Fun, and comment your questions. Stay curious, space cadets!